Hello, my name is Ian Robinson, and in this short video, I'm going to talk to you about big ears, a subject I'm intimately familiar with, having worked for many years on Java EE. Java EE is uh, an excellent, mature, uh, and complete platform for uh, developing business critical enterprise applications on, and most organizations tend to have two goals in mind uh, when they are building and deploying new enterprise applications. The first is time to delivery of the application, delivering it fast to deliver to bring value to the business as quickly as possible. The second goal is to reduce and, uh, and minimize the cost of that application uh, through its life cycle as it evolves uh, and is maintained throughout the life cycle of the application and meeting the challenges of the business as that changes and evolves as well. And these two goals of rapid delivery of software in the first place uh, and maintaining the software at the lowest cost over the life cycle of that software are often at conflict with one another. Let me give you two specific examples. The first problem is really one in the underlying Java language itself. The unit of deployment in Java is obviously the jar. That's the thing that exists on disk. That's the thing that's the easiest thing to move around. That's the thing where if you're working on a complex problem that you need to break down into modular components with different teams focusing on those different components, those teams typically produce separate jars or collections of jars. Now, because uh, jars do lack the basic characteristics of modularity, Java tends to make it far too easy for different modules to become entangled in a way that goes far beyond uh, the original design of any complex application. Consider, for example, two teams working on different functions, uh, different aspects of the same application. Within each function, let's imagine that each team is building its own separate JAR module. Within each module, um, those teams will develop a set of classes that are divided up into a number of different packages. Because the JAR itself delivers a coherent unit of function, it's extremely likely that the classes within the packages, within the JAR, will need to communicate with one another. And that's entirely reasonable within a module. But because classes with, within this package need to communicate with classes in this package, those classes need to be declared, need to have public accessibility. The problem now immediately is because a class in this package has public accessibility uh, to classes in this package, it also has public accessibility beyond the module of which it's a part. If this jar now has a well-defined interface uh, which provides the only linkages that are intended to be exposed to this module over here, we now have no way of subdividing uh, the classes from the packages that are meant to be exposed from the packages that are meant to be internal. How many times do we see a situation where two teams working together for the same end goal see an opportunity to deliver uh, their, their end product faster by reusing something that another team has developed but which isn't part of the public interface. These guys, these guys are friends. They go to lunch with one another. This guy working in this team over here knows that there's this really, really useful utility function down here, but it's not part of the public interface. But, you know, it has public accessibility. The build tools are going to let him access it, access it. So he can actually make a call from his class within his module to use this utility over here, which was never, ever meant to be exposed from this module. Immediately, we've introduced the level of entanglement between these two separate modules that was never there by design in the first place. Now, while this might not seem like a big issue up front, um, as you go through QA, all the tests will pass. Uh, the application can go successfully into production and can run uh, probably quite successfully for potentially many years. However, because we now have this unintended level of entanglement, it does become much more complicated uh, and expensive to maintain that application going forward. Because now any change in uh, this module here, any change to these internal classes in this module here, now may have an unintended consequence for other modules uh, which are using them. And they're, they're using these classes by opportunity 
rather than design.